Hi friends, this is take 513 of me being real. <laughs> Actually, I've been real with you guys from the get-go, but I have zero desire today to work out. I even had like the opportunity, perfect scenario, to be able to work out. Today is Friday, and I wasn't going to because Jason was gonna be home, and I wanted to get to Costco first thing this morning. Our midwinter break for the kids, school district starts technically this weekend through next week, and I wanted to get ahead of the crowds today. I wanted to like not <laughs> have crowds in Costco, but we got a call from his brother at 7.45 this morning that ski conditions up at the pass were absolutely perfect and it was snowing, big fluffy white snow and his brother was like, get up here, get out of bed and get up here. Even though his brother wasn't going skiing with him, his brother is actually coming here into town for a conference for work and so Jason just, all right, I'll get up, I'll get up, I'll go ski and so he's skiing right now. <laughs> I was like, well, all right, well, I could have worked out now this morning and then showered and been motivated that way. I'm just not, I'm not motivated this morning. I'm very crampy, my back hurts, um, I'm just tired. I just don't feel like it. The other day I walked at the community center six and a half miles. <laughs> That's probably why I don't wanna walk today. Uh, but I did a lot the other day, and I did do treadmill the day before that, I believe. I did not do anything yesterday, because again, I just, I wasn't feeling it. And then, so I didn't film yesterday. Um, I got a whole bunch of computer work done, and then um, they called me in for another scan. <laughs> I have to tell you guys, I'm not gonna tell you what it is, but I'm already saving up for something that I really want, really, really, really want, but it's really expensive. And it's the equivalent of what I would normally save, not, it's more than the equivalent of what I would even save up for, um, for spending money to go to Hawaii. So that's, that tells you something. <laughs> and so in order for us to even, for me to even think about being able to even be able to go to Hawaii next year, which I always want to do, I have to come up with new ways to save up for this thing that I currently want. And if I could have it like in a month, I would have it if I had this kind of money, which I don't. And and we both agreed it is a want and not a need, even though Jason fully understands why I want this um, and will help me in the end if I need help with it. But I'm gonna try and save up for it with my own means from my channel and from these scans. I have six of them lined up to be paid for and I was anticipating taking that money to Hawaii but I don't need to anymore. So I think I'm gonna save that money and then try and come home with extra money from Hawaii and put that immediately into this savings fund for what I want. I'm being very vague with what it is because I'm hesitant to share what it is that I want. <laughs> I will share it with you, I'm just, not needing to share it right now. That's all I'll say. So today, I have some time this morning. I've taken a hot shower after Jason took Ashley to the bus stop um, and shaved, and now I'm gonna shave my face. And I don't know if I'm gonna do a ton of makeup. I'll probably just put, put my eyes on just so I feel a little bit normal. It's a rainy, here, let me show you. Can you see the skies out there? Yeah, that's because you can't. <laughs> it's a rainy, drizzly day out there. And I know that means I'm just not gonna wanna do much. You know what I mean? So I'm just gonna do this. I have a few things to do on the computer. I'm gonna respond to some of you guys' comments from today's video that currently went out. And then um, I'm gonna do this some research on this thing that I'm need, needing to save up for. And then hopefully Jason will be home and we can go to Costco. We are hosting our game night tomorrow night because one of our friends that normally hosts it they are going out of town to see their daughter in co at college. Um, so uh, we are hosting, so it puts a little, not pressure, it's good pressure, but I need to make sure the house is clean. <laughs> so I'm gonna vacuum and come up with something for snacks and figure out how to you know, put the display out for snacks and kind of stuff. I haven't had to do that stuff for a long time. Even book club now, we have two new hosts for book club and they have very nice houses. And so that kind of burden of hosting has been off of my plate for quite a while right now. And it's nice, but I, I like to do it as well. So I just need to kind of get back into that game. All right. My face is red on camera and a little bit red up here in real life. I have two little, you know, things. 
I actually have been doing really good with my skin. It looks really bad on camera. This is always just red right here. Um, but I just did my eyes. That's all I'm gonna worry about today. Pull my hair back and I'm just going to go work on the computer for a little bit. I might, if Jason's not home, I might uh, go to Target or I don't know. I might go do something just myself. Just lacking motivation today. What I really want to do is lay back down on this bed with a heating pad on my back and read a book, look at my phone. <laughs> but I've got some stuff I can do on the computer to actually be productive. One thing that's kind of funny is that Jason and I both like the same kind of socks now. Obviously he gets them from our store, but now we fight over them. Also, someone is asking about my tattoo and how it's been healing in a year, well not year, six months since I got it. It's doing great. And I'm going to, one of the things I'm gonna to do today is email um, and reach out to the tattoo parlor that I got this done from and just ask him if we can put the initials in and tell him about our experience last year. If you don't know, um, I got that tattoo in Maui last year and the artist that did the tattoo, while the tattoo itself was absolutely wonderful, she was not. <laughs> she was kind of a witch the entire two hours before I got my tattoo and she made me wait two hours before doing my tattoo because they didn't put me on the schedule even though I had all the documentation. So she just gave me attitude and when I told her I wanted my kids initials put on that tattoo, she said she wouldn't do it. She said that would be tacky and she's like block prints on a beautiful handcrafted artistic flower. That'd be so tacky and I was like, then don't do block print letters, like make it artistic. She's like, I just think it would be tacky. And she just wouldn't do it. And at that point we hadn't started doing the tattoo yet. And I didn't wanna like, I didn't know how good she was gonna do with the tattoo itself. And so I didn't wanna mess up my, my chances of having a good one done. <laughs> so I waited till the end and she apologized. She enjoyed doing the tattoo. She apologized for being so mean to me. Um, admitted she was having a bad day, but at that point in the, t in the day, they needed to close up. And she had done the tattoo really, really well, and I felt like, had I asked for anything else, <laughs> I might have, um, I might, I don't know, I didn't know, I didn't wanna know what the situation was gonna be, or the scenario, so I didn't do anything. But what I'm gonna do is reach out to the owner of the salon today and tell them that scenario from last year and just, I'll pay for it. But I just wanna say, look, can we come up with some kind of artistic design to put the initials of my kids back on this tattoo? They still talk about it. Like they bring it up. As often as I talk about Hawaii, they talk about why their initials are not on my tattoo. That's why I got it. It's because of them. And their initials are not on it. <laughs> So um, I will have to sacrifice my last night in Hawaii and not being in a hot tub, uh, you know, oceanfront with um, sunset in front of me uh, in order to get the tattoo. But I think I'm gonna try as hard as I can because the kids really, really want me to do this. So that's one of the things I'm gonna go down and do. But back to the socks. Jason and I fight over the good socks and he tries to put them in his drawer. And so every time I can't find them in my drawer, I look in his and he puts them away and he steals all the good socks. So I need to tell him to bring home some more. Um, I like them to be tight, but not too compressed. Um, they slide around in my shoes if they're too loose and uh, my feet have sensitivity to textures. So I can't have things like sliding around. So gathering up all my stuff right here by my bed. I have gone downstairs today. I just came back up to get ready for the day. I'm replying to some of your comments right now and I just remembered I haven't filmed for a couple days so some things have happened and I wanted to share them with you. Um, one thing Ashley has been kind of bugging me to sign up for the next session of cheer and she had dropped tumbling from this session that she's currently in it, it technically ended yesterday but um 
because it was just kind of exhausting for her and she didn't really understand um, that they were kind of linked together. It was the same coach, but um, she didn't really understand how much the tumbling class was kind of needed for the cheer class. Anyway, so when she was kind of thinking about doing it, um, again, this next session, she started talking to friends and kind of talking to her coach when she was in class. And after class, probably two weeks ago, the coach was like, Ashley, you need to sign up for tumbling next time. You need to do it. You need to do it. I need to like get you doing your, um, your backhand spring and, and some more tumbling things. Um, we need to really like hone that in for you so that you can do dream team. And Dream Team is the next squad up. It's the one in the videos where the girls are kind of wearing the different uniform and they perform separately from Ashley's whole squad, like the combined of everyone. Um, so they're just like the next level up. And I went to take her to her class on Wednesday and the two coaches, the head coach and then her current class coach were both there and I walked in and not only did the head coach come up to me and she was like, uh, did you see the photographer? Um, th the photos that the photographer from Seattle University sent us. And I was like, yeah, I did. And um, I will try and put them on the screen right here. I'll pr try and make some room right here um, and put them on the screen for you. 12 of the photos that he took of their team, four of them are of Ashley. <laughs> And she's like, I think either the photographer was like obsessed with Ashley or he recognized her talent and how good she is with like her structure and her dancing. Um, and she was like, she's like, Dana, you have kind of a golden ticket with this girl. She's, she's kind of on fire and she really is good at learning and like really like doing well with her dancing. And her regular coach, she was like, so are we signing up for dream team and Ashley's eyes got all big and she's like that's what we're here for we're here to ask you if you think I should sign up for it and they said we've been waiting for you to sign up for it <laughs> like, we need you to sign up for it the only downside to it is that she has to do dream team and tumbling and her current um, cheer team drill team class um, and they're all one after another. They're all on the same day. She could have switched um, her last class to a different day, but then she wouldn't have been in the same group she's been in, the same group of kids that she's been in with. And she's like, no, I don't want to do that. And so she has classes now from four o'clock on Wednesdays, clear till eight o'clock at night. <laughs> there is a one hour block during the first two classes. And then there's like a 15 minute break between the next two. The, the one hour block, I've told her, we'll either take dinner down and we'll eat in a car, we'll take it somewhere if the weather is nice, kind of get away from the building for a little bit for an hour, or we'll just kind of make that. Um, on Wednesdays, you know, if you've been with us, Ashley and I usually like have found some things to go and do and get a snack or a lunch or something together. So I said, we won't have time to do that now after school. We'll just make that our time during that dinner time. We'll go get Panda Express and eat in the car. She can't eat a ton because she does have to go straight to tumbling. Um, but it'll like kind of get some food into her tummy and then she can have a little bit more after the next class. And she, and I said, it's going to make you really tired. You're going to really have to like go to bed early the night before and come home and shower and go to bed right away when you get home from that. And she's like, I want to do it. And the coaches were so excited. So, so, so excited for her to sign up for that. And I just love her enthusiasm for it. And the coaches recognize her talent and they want to fine tune it. But like Dana, we can teach her anything and she learns it just like that. They're like some of the kids. And I told her, I said, some of the kids are kind of giving her a hard time because she keeps getting the awards for learning the dances so fast. And they were like, Dana, we can't do anything about it. We teach her one dance and one routine and she has it the first time. <laughs> like there's nothing we could do about it. She just learns it. And so we, you know, we want to give participation awards to the kids that are trying hard, but like she's really trying and really doing well. And so I just, I love it. And I just want to share that with you. I'm just, I'm literally going to respond back to you guys about the, um, the Seattle U 
uh, day that we had. So I just wanted to like follow up with you guys current day with kind of where she's at with it. I'm kind of thinking that in as she gears toward like middle school and high school that she doesn't actually do like cheerleading route. I, I kind of think she should do more of the drill team, like the dance team aspect of um, cheer, you know, the cheer world. I think she, I, I think about her doing the cheer group that she does with our city, um, like our school district that she'll do this summer and then into the fall with the football teams and stuff. I think she'll still have fun with that, but seeing how much she's enjoyed actually performing and having dances to perform, I think she enjoys that so much that I think it'll be telling to see if she kind of gets a little bit bored when she goes back to just doing cheers. <laughs> I think she enjoys doing the dance side of it. I might actually try and see if there's some, some kind of a dance class I can take um, as well. We'll see. I'll see how it goes. All right, I'm coming to make my breakfast, but give me a little sneak peek at a little Hawaiian haul. I'm going to do closer to when we actually leave on our trip so that it's like a whole string of Hawaii videos. But here is Ashley's new rash guard swimsuit that she is going to unwillingly wear <laughs> at the beach. I'm not going to make her wear it at the pool if she doesn't want to, but the beach somehow sunburns us a whole lot more. So, and it's just harder with the reef safe sunscreen to have a high enough SPF. And so, um, I had her get that and there's like a whole box full of stuff in here from Shein. So if you want to see that stuff in a little Hawaiian haul, stay tuned for about a month and a half or two. I don't even know how long I have until we get to go on our trip, but I will do that soon. But I am kind of disappointed. I wanted eggs of some kind, whether it was like my chaffle or actual eggs. So. Jason ate the last of them this morning, and we are going to Costco, as you know. So today I'm just having some toast, some bilberry spread. So who remembers who gave this to us? Because it is absolutely divine, and I really wish Ikea wasn't as far away from me as it is. <laughs> because this is so good. It's even really good on pancakes. I had that on Sunday, I think. So good. I was going to put peanut butter on the other one, but this, this looked a lot better. <laughs> So I will find my protein source um, somewhere else. I don't know where. But I also need to clean out the fridge before we go to... All right, my disc was full, so I'm not really sure <laughs> where it ended. Breakfast, I should have done peanut butter on one of them, but this looked good, too good, so I did two of them like that. Um, and then I need to clean out the fridge because we're going to go to Costco today, and I just need to kind of just clean things out. Um, you can see in here, I think oranges aren't going to be something that we get. I'm not going to do this now, but, and pears. Pears weren't a hit. They just, Kaylee's the only one that likes it, but then she only eats half of it. And I think we just need to take those out of our shopping. But I'm just going to get everything kind of wiped out. I hate milk curtains from Costco. They make me look like I'm a messy person. Um, also, my kids don't know that condiments go on the side over here and sauces go up here but to be fair these all need to come out I think I need this one is definitely bad this one it's hard with like cheese like this because it's like supposed to have like things in it you know what I mean so I just have to do this and I think you know cookie dough times two this is my protein cookie dough so and I was like, I'm just gonna show you, this is my real mess. Like, that needs to get cleaned off. So, clean out, clean off, and get it ready to go to Costco. Like, this kind of stuff. Like, they're gonna eat it again. Like, I don't even know why they bother. They're never gonna eat this. Just throw it away. <laughs> I don't even know why. This is another reason why I want a juicer, so that I can use those. But, I'm gonna go eat breakfast first. We're gonna, we're gonna come back to that. So we need jelly. we're at Costco, and uh, yeah, we're just getting a few things. Did you get the jelly? We need, we need no, we don't need jelly. Yes, we do. No, we don't. Oh, I was just gonna say one little tiny chunk. My sister, I found 
12 jars of her apricot jam that I made with her and my mom. So we're gonna use that. Okay, that's good stuff. I'm standing over the peanut butter, that's why he's saying it. We need to use what we have, and that stuff is so good. But welcome back, he went skiing. We're back at Costco doing our regular. These are pretty much the only thing that's kind of different. These are on rebate um, for 10 bucks, so that was a really good score. And since Chelsea doesn't really watch our videos, we are gonna surprise her with these before our trip to Hawaii. Um, she absolutely loves these shorts from here at Costco. I think she has three pairs of them now. They're just so They're so flowy. She will probably start wearing these to school now, which is totally fine. I actually want to see if she likes them so I can get another pair because she just wears them all the time. I, we've been trying to find my camera here for a few minutes. Here, can you move over, Ash? Um, I don't even know. We got home from Costco and I went. we went and got um, Cafe Rio. Sorry for the noise. He's mailing or I'm working. wrapping up a package. <laughs> got home, ate our salad, and I got up to refill my water, and I just my back hurts and my stomach hurts. And normally, I don't get crampy. If you know what I mean. But I did, and I I kept thinking like oh, the only thing that's gonna really make me feel better right now is like heat on my back like in his car and in my car the seats are heated up through the back of the seat and it feels so good on my back and so I as I'm walking to my office with a new thing of water I just turned and went up the stairs and I went into Abby's room and they had just gotten home from high school and I said I'm stealing your heating pad and I went and put it in my bed and I crawled in and I put a blanket over my face and I fell asleep that was at four o'clock what time is it now, Ash? 8.17. 8.17. I haven't been asleep this whole time. I woke up at about 6.30. Um, and then the heating pad felt so good after I had gotten up to the bathroom that I was like, yep, I'm going to get back in. Because I'm just going to come down and sit on the couch and watch a show or watch my phone and, and not do anything because I don't feel well. So I might as well just stay in bed. And now I want ice cream. <laughs> I don't want dinner. I want ice cream. So he's being nice enough and we're gonna go get ice cream. And she's happy about it. Mm -hmm. You're happy about it? Ice okay. cream, correct? She's been just sitting here all evening chit-chatting with all of her friends on the... So is Sadie the only one who's gonna be gone for a midwinter break or is there anyone Ella. else? Ella's no, Ella's, gone too? No, Ella, Sadie is, she's not going anywhere. Um, Sadie's, oh, Ella. Ella's, in, Ella's Palm in Palm Springs. Palm Springs. And then no one else is going to Okay, so we need to plan some play dates then, because I'm not going to have you driving me crazy this next week. I see. Yeah, but I want your friends to play. I want you to go play with them. So ask your friends, start asking them individually what days they can play. And group play dates, here, their house, all of the above. Because everyone else entertains themselves. They just, you know, what else to say? Are you ready to go, babe? Can I go? Yeah, you can come. So, I'm probably going to enter. Well, well, we'll take you with it, with us to get ice cream because that's just exciting. I don't know what store we're going to go to. Just get a big gallon of it and then something I like. We're heading down and we're listening to you 2 on the radio. Well, I don't know if we have a station it's for a station, it. Yeah. And who watched the Super Bowl halftime and got so excited? Like, I mean, the, the game was exciting, and I didn't care who, what team won. Sorry to anyone who was <laughs> either team. But I like that the halftime ads anyway. But when they started playing U2 and announced that they're doing a tour in Vegas, Jason and I, he like, I don't think you were in the room. I was. I said, there's a QR code. I was like, scan the QR code, scan the QR code. <laughs> and we didn't scan it, but it, there was a website at the bottom. So I'm like, look up the site, look up yeah. the site. So we ran to the site and you know the, that's when they fully announced the tour and we're YouTube fan clubs if you don't know. We went and saw them in Dublin when they opened their 360 tour. Oh, that would be great to do again. I know. I, um, but anyway, so we are planning on going to the Vegas tour when they finally announce um, or when they release the tickets and the tour dates. I think it's this fall. Um, but we're getting very excited. We're kind of talking about it. We're like, oh, this is going to be so fun. And we have a bunch of friends that are like, um, yes, we're going. And I think it'll be really fun 
um, cool to like plan a little like, way, you, know? you know, weekend getaway to go to a concert in Vegas. We're not Vegas people. We don't drink. We don't, gamble. we don't gamble. You know what I mean? Like we don't go to bars or pub. You know, we just don't do things like that. And so Total Vegas boring. is not our place. But for a fun like friends getaway weekend with a concert, that could be really fun. Where are we going? Post are we going office. to the post office first? Yeah. Um, anyway, we're just kind of getting excited. I'm like, can you just release the tickets already? Because YouTube fan club members get first access to the ticket. You need to be watching it daily. I watch. I check my email every single day, um, and I haven't gotten anything yet. But anyway, very excited to. And no, that's not what I'm currently saving up for because that's gonna be like not nothing. I mean, tickets when we went to Ireland were like to go to the concert. Like 2007, they were like, 2008. Yeah, but the tickets no, it was themselves. 2008 because everything was collapsing. We're asking it was before ourselves. Chelsea was born. Yeah, I was like, should we be going to do this? When but the economy's collapsing. Whatever, <laughs> we didn't care. Uh, the tickets were only like 150 bucks in Ireland. So we're like, yes, please. Obviously the trip costs a lot more than that still to be able to cheap. go, but it was still really cheap comparatively. I think it was like um, 1,500 bucks for both of us to go for like- No, it was about 2,000. And then we took $500 in spending money. So it was like 2,500. Um, but that included the cost of those plane or of those tickets. Anyway, I'm rambling. It's just kind of a random day, but we're getting excited to go do that. I just drew a smiley face. Oh, you can't see it. What kind did you get? Monster cookie. Oh. Looks good. I'm getting it's chocolate peanut butter. What did you find? Clearance. Good job, dude. Moose tracks. And this. Only two bucks. And this, chocolate. Is this any good? Uh, that's only 25% off. Like six bucks. It's not worth it. I got chocolate peanut butter. I, mine's like cheaper than that one. But that was only like two bucks. So get that one. No, you have to put that one back in the clearance, dude. N no. <laughs> yeah, put it back. You need to put it back where it belongs. Any, um, but uh, that's impressive that he went and looked at the clearance section. I've taught him well. Do you always look at the clearance section when you come? They they often come for ice cream at night, right? Yeah, because because you're wrapped around Dad's little finger. And more like Kaylee and Abby. Kaylee and Abby. If they ask for a treat, they get a treat, correct? So, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We're home, but I'm gonna end our video with you guys. I just got a package from our mail from Old Navy. Um, Maybe I'll show you tomorrow because it's stuff for Hawaii, but it's also my workout tank top. So I'll show you this tomorrow. So stay tuned. Easy, easy on our tiptoe.